I'm Ross Sobolev. I'm Nora Dauenhauer. We're here today at the second day of Celebration 82, the united gathering of the Tlingit, Haida, and Simsian nations here at Shansuk, the Tlingit and Haida Community Center in Juneau. This is the second day of three days that we have scheduled for this, and we'd like to welcome you all to the event. How did this uh, project come about? Could you elaborate on that, Ross? Uh, Celebration 82 is uh, sponsored uh, largely by the Sea Alaska Heritage Foundation. The Heritage Foundation had its uh, beginnings in the spring of 1980 when Sea Alaska sponsored its first elders conference in Sitka. At that time, the elders were called together for a conference uh, regarding any concerns that they had about Sea Alaska and uh, other ways to preserve our culture. Uh, coming out of that meeting was a number of things. They wanted to concentrate on cultural preservation as well as educational concerns. And Nora, you were involved with a subsequent uh, project out of that, which was a uh, publishing of a book. Can you give us a better idea what that was about? It was all on the elders uh, talking about the future of our youth. And because of this, uh, the uh, elders felt that we have to leave something for the future generation. And uh, they all agreed that this was the important thing today for us to do. And because of this, they talked about how they cherished the, the youth of today. And because of that, we called the book Because We Cherish You. Uh, you and your husband, Dick, were involved actually in uh, translating a number of the speeches that were made. And uh, many people that I've talked to that have read it have found it uh, uh, really enlightening. and. It's offered, I know, that quite a bit of guidance to the Heritage Foundation and other people getting an idea of what the Heritage Foundation and as well as other organizations that, that uh, deal with our culture uh, need to do. Uh, subsequently, the, uh, after funding the publishing of Because We Cherish You, the corporation in the fall uh, actually formed the Heritage Foundation, which was again one of the concerns that the elders expressed. And in uh, the spring of 81, the Heritage Foundation actually formed an elders advisory committee. Were you involved with that committee at no. all? Uh -uh. The uh, advisory committee then in the winter of 81, which was uh, approximately one year ago, began with the idea of having a united gathering of Tlingit, Haida, and Simsian nations, the three predominant nations in uh, the Southeast Alaska region where Sea Alaska uh, has its center. And um, they began talking about having what we eventually called Celebration 82. The dates were set for February 24, 25th, and 26th and it was a gathering in the spirit of unity um, an historic event it's the first gathering of this type and um, we're on the second day of it yesterday was the first day and perhaps Nora you could give us an idea of some of the events that happened yesterday but first I would like to ask you what is the theme of the celebration there's two themes one I think you can perhaps see behind me is the spirit of unity. We also had a theme going which was called uh, reopening the locked boxes of our culture. It's uh, a very important theme uh, that I think all of uh, the people that belong to our three nations are concerned about. So the locked box is a metaphor of uh, the trunks, the regalias, the hats, the ropes, and uh, masks were put in for safekeeping and now they have opened it and it, to say that they are now going to go forward uh, pr preserving if you would the culture or continue it and uh, speaking of regalia i think you can see that we're both wearing 
uh, traditional regalia. Would you say a few words about the uh, outfit? We were talking about it earlier, and it really has an interesting history, as does all of the items and actions that you're going to be seeing here today. Well, the one I'm wearing is uh, the abalone or mother of pearl button robe, which is a Ginjichuan blanket of long ago and bordered with the red which belonged to uh, my cousin Austin Hammond's grandmothers and handed down to my mother and she is now letting me wear the robe. Now I have a butt pin on my head which came from that same family and uh, it was given to me before Jenny Marks, Austin Hammond's mother died. She gave it to me. It must be. I'd like to hear yours too. It must be a great honor to have that. I'm wearing a very old Chilcat blanket that belonged to uh, my father's side of the family. It's, uh, he tells me it's over 100 years old, and uh, I'd like to turn around and let you have a look at it. It gives me a great deal of strength and uh, pride to wear this. It looks like we're getting ready now for the uh, beginning of today's activities. We're starting off with uh, the St. Elias dancers. We would like to turn it over now to Dr. Walter Sobolev, who is the master of ceremonies at uh, this conference today, called in our language the Nakani for the Eagle side. And now from the land of Max Italio, Sam George, Olaf Abraham, and some of the great people from Yakutat, we have also the land of Harry Bremner and his descendants, the Mount St. Elias dancers headed by Paul Henry. They will make their entrance at this time. Now we are all happy. Uh, this morning we have Andrew and Johnny, one of our own, who will now speak in behalf of the Eagle uh, Clan. Andrew and Johnny. Nakani. 
Machsane has, Mach ich kick has, Artas of Ta Artas, Achatki, Tachankayan, Shuka, Adia, Dutch, Achayahu, Atanke, Aya, he got at to a ha, Hassan Gitchis Sati. Atae has to you on a joy on us, ach, he got your heritage foundation. The Kati Hayan as Achate Hakakodo of Hayak Hachtu Yak Eh Yacht Ach Eh Yach Ishki Kasaho Ach Tiptain Ah Ye O Ye has to you on a shuka has to Hindu Waki Ah Shushayahoya has a top hedge. A oya hus a city gun. Daha set a hot day to you to walk his shayu a tank. Has joy a hus a city gun. Ya ye got away on us a hayu a tank. The Kajasin get on a hayoy on us a hatun of the Satsing good day a half a cold or high he go out, says Nasieta. He dug the Hushuk of Sakit. Was a hot to no go, was the monarch say, but was she at? Take a pink, get half a knock of her neta of Hamik. Take a tea at the Yakaka, a diaho ah. Has to on how to Jesus out his heart. Yahahu Dahasu at the ah. A joy has with the chain as the husky took Yasanatin at Sust at Kahine. A hot day a hit the akaha. A kaha bag of tatan at so. I want to explain very briefly. It is an honor to be the first speaker on this time here we have. If I make any remarks, it's, it is of bad nature. I have older brothers and friends behind me that will correct me. It is an honor to represent my tribe in this manner, in this one time happening, very first time. I consider it an honor also to explain the nature of my training by five uncles. The strongest was the smallest uncle I had was Robert Lawrence from Sitka, Peter Davis, David Davis, Frank White, and Jim Young was the last one. I, took, I stepped right into where he was at the time of his death. This is part of the discipline, discipline they gave us a very strict discipline where I grew up. I never had a chance to go crying to my dad or my mother. They took me away from them when I was nine years old, and I'm still under that discipline. This is why I learned to speak my language and why I learned to express myself where the potlatches occur. I consider it an honor to stand here before everybody. I thank you for your kind attention and God bless you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our next speaker. <laughs> He's from my area, and he's considered my father. Give you Austin Hammond from Haynes. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster. Yeah, I don't have to talk about the idea. I'm going to share with you what I have to share with Ah, I thought you were going to 
Ujini Hatu Shatke, Wakanak to shoot, sa Yai that Ush Hot Hawas you. Hashin gets a tea year. Hayu Hatang gets a cock to he he. Or the suit of Shatun, Hayu Hatang get in. A jar can two shades, but not two stakes. Ayai that Yakush hundred coated at the Ah, <laughs> Hashing get cheek tack of city. I eat at Hana, I eat in. Ah, that's a high you hot and gay at her. Oh, he that high at the year to tattoo. Hot at Hankasan, ear to tattoo. I you say at the heart of a hawk. Hot to saw the wish to come, said after saw the Yanak they saw the Ganaka, Nakta Katia, hot on the Tarni, hot at Hankasan, it is. You are a toss of your hock high. I am a tagger duck tan. I had a yachin which dark or silver up. A tuna hoyo to get that kind. A tacadede, hot quaya, hashing, get costi, tuna haya, a tuna had out to get that high hot hag. A jawa. Yeah, that the addict took me, eh? Just cheese, car to a shot. Hayat had a chunk of sun, a sakar shaku, or so, haji duck, car to a ne, a sakar satine. A jay or the hard or a hook tag. A wish and hang pasty ye. A kayak to a canoe. A yahon, you cut on canoe, yak. Ya Nasa Hash, I you got on Kanukane Kayakanich, Shaya Hosati at the Kot Kande, Ayaksati at Kohan, there. Yer to Ayati, that it is, your God called to it in I like to say the word, it's a lot of ways, it's hard to understand and not drink it the way we are feeling. Right now, my feeling is when I come over here to show to our grandchildren, to our sons, our daughters, what we have, what we do, what they teach us before. My grandfather teach me how I didn't go to school. All I know in our trinket way so this time I like to tell you this: we got to, we come over here to teach every one of them who are here, who are growing, who are behind us, so they could learn. Right now, let them see our love from us, like the sun comes through the window. Let them shine to them. Right now, friends. I had to add a little word into it, what I'm using. This is what our story is, I'm wearing it, and on my head. And I think it way. Uh, Andrew Johnny was talking about how our people, they died in Christian life. Before white people, we know who's our savior. We call it Raven. He's our leader. He's our tree, family tree we call. It. So everything what we were that you could see, it's telling you the story. That's why we use them. Let's teach our children, our grandchildren, to learn more with our kindness with our love and our thank you.
wonderful we have the opportunity of receiving so many people, especially out of state, to become part of this program. And one of these individuals comes from the Yukon area, and he was elected head of his group, Sam Johnston. It pleases me to introduce him at this time. Please <laughs> Kakir <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters across the country. I'd just like to say that it's a great honor for me to be here among all your fine people here in Alaska. My name is Sam Johnston. I'm the chief of the Teslin Inland Tlingit. I've been elected chief now going on 12 years with my people, and I've traveled far and wide across the country, in Canada, and parts of the United States. But it makes me feel good to be here among the Tlingit people and the Haida people, especially in parts of Canada where I've been. There culture, I would say, is a little different than, than the Tlingit and the Haidas. Their dress is entirely different, but it's really a great honor to be amongst your own for a change. And one of the plea that we, I have personally is we as concerned parents, leaders, we must take it upon ourselves at this time to try and teach our younger generation our culture, whether it be it dancing or sewing or any any of the cultures of our of our people. If we don't do this, all this fine culture of ours will be lost one day. And this is why we must take now from and learn from the elders while we have them. For tomorrow might be too late. So this is a plea to all people right across the country that we must do this if we're going to keep our fine culture alive. In closing, I'd just like to mention my Indian name is Anas Lahaj. Thank you for listening to me.
Again, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege for me to introduce to you the next uh, speaker, an old friend of mine and a very close friend of all of you here. I bring to you Solomon Guthrie, who will now represent the Simpson uh, Nation. Simgigit, Highlands and uh, uh, Athabascans. No, I'm Raro. Will the Hawkskin. And I am Stahiago. I am the law. And I am not known to me in Tosgo. I could check. Some she and I do check the names or check. Hi am Shaitkarim, and I'm Shaitkarim, and a uh, few words in English and uh, tell my feelings about the uh, this big celebration here the last few days. And I'm representing the Simpsons from Middle Kelly. There's a group of us here, the dancers and singers. You probably see it maybe today and tomorrow. And uh, I often think of my grandfather. My grandfather's name is Nish Lewis. And uh, I would listen to him uh, every now and then throughout the years he was living. And he mentioned some of the things that uh, uh, I feel that uh, it concerns all of us here. I remember when he used to tell me where our people would get together and prepare for a trip from our uh, our. Uh, Metlaketa, British Columbia at the time, before they moved over to Metlaketa, Alaska. And they were to get together in a canoe. Now he told me it's a canoe is about, uh, they call it six, all the Kalai they call it. That's a, uh, is one fathom. And uh, it's uh, six fathom, he said. And you figure that out, six times six is. 36 feet long. A canoe is 36 feet long. And they'd have about maybe uh, eight, eight uh, men, four on each side, to paddle the canoe. And they have the, uh, the, the uh, chief or the captain in the stern that would guide the canoe. And they'd paddle up all the way, not just uh, around Kawak or, or or catch can or or elk. I know uh, Juno is elk from this. It, here later on I found out it was Ock Bay is what it means. Elk. I used to hear uh, my grandfather say about elk. And uh, it dawned on me that's Ock Bay. And then I've heard uh, bad, that's Chilcat people up around Hinge area that come up this way and trade or uh, Goodwill uh, visit, and uh, the uh, I understand the Chilkats have some of our songs, the Simpson songs and the Simpson dances, and we've made uh, our ancestors have made trips up and down the coast throughout the years, as way far back as we could remember. Remember when they would go up to Yakutat and uh, go up there and. Uh, visit or go out and uh, uh, 
kill the, uh, what you call the, uh, the fur seal that go up to the Gulf of Alaska. And we've heard uh, mention about uh, the Kodak. I found out what Kodak means, it's Kodiak. As far up as Kodiak uh, Islands, they've roamed the area. And they would, sometimes they'd go for, for weeks or months. And uh, they'd come back after they get back. I remember definitely what he told me when they landed on the beach after making a several weeks trip. They'd take their paddle and throw it in the water. And the paddle would stand up like this. It's so water soaked for traveling for weeks. And uh, it isn't just uh, for years, it's been going for years and years and years. And uh, it's kind of nice for us to get together now and uh, renew our, acquaint our acquaintances. I know quite a few people here up and down the coast. And uh, some of the names, I forget the names, but it dawned on me when I me and this crowd get a little mixed up on the families. And uh, I feel that this should go on. Let us uh, have a, a get together and plan what is the future of this uh, get together here, the different tribes up and down the coast. And again, I want to thank you for uh, having the privilege to say a few words here. We're allowed uh, five minutes, but uh, maybe it's five minutes almost up now. So. Thank you again for this privilege. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the next person I'm to introduce is an old friend of mine. I've known him for over 30 years. We've been cellmates and all kinds of, we've gotten all kinds of messes. But uh, I've known him, like I say, for over 30 years, and a good buddy of mine, he comes from our neighboring Haida Nation, Sylvester Peel. Had a lot had a Kianer <laughs> Lungensen <laughs> My dear friends, we're proud and be happy to be part of you in the celebration this week. How better can I say it when I say brothers and sisters, we are part of you. As I look around the room, I see many faces that I know, a lot of you folks from the north, the Tlingit people, married into our Haida people. Same is true with the Simpsons. But what I said just a little while ago, I'm interpreting myself. We all have a, one thing in common here. We're working toward a, a preservation of this culture of ours. Before I come up here, I see wall, uh, notice on the wall here in the <clears throat> several buildings to know your heritage. When we got the invitation here three, four weeks ago, uh, in, on the invitation, we instructed you to expound on <clears throat> the need to teach 
all the people, not only your own people. Before we came on the stage, we're instructed to, to, to say to all the people throughout Alaska, not only the Haidas and the Tlingits and the Simpsons, but all our friends to the north also, to expound the fact that we have to keep our, our culture alive and to know your heritage. Once more, I want to say that we're all proud to be here with you in this celebration. We're proud to have a small part in it. The Ketskan and Kassan and the Haida group from Heidelberg and also uh, the Haida group from Masson just arrived late yesterday. We'll be coming across the stage here shortly after these speakers are through with their presentations. But once again, at this time, I want to take the opportunity to thank the the Alaska <coughs> Heritage Foundation for the invitation to extend it to the Haida people of Heidelberg. And this about sums up what I have to say. I appreciate this privilege. And uh, I, before the tri this week is over, I hope to meet all the friends. And I thank you all. We also have another brother from the Yukon country. John Taku Jack will now offer his comments. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm very happy to be here from my country. There's five, four of us came down here from Atten, B.C. And one from the Yukon with us is Johnny John. His name in Singit, yes, Sean. Stand up, please. <laughs> Two the chief of Aden, my nephew, his name in Thinket, school yes, Sylvester. <laughs> Three, Mrs. Sylvester Jack, her name is Shaka Key, and they think it in a her name is Evelyn Jack. Fourth is my brother Tom Williams, daughter that everybody knows him very well, and is buried here in Juneau, Alaska. Elizabeth Nyman. Her name is Sedea. And that's the one that bunches came down with us from my area. In my olden days, I was teach from my great grandfather and my great grandmother that we are related from the coast native people. Think it. Only we had names for that, Dakkhlingit or Dakkhkonana. Onana means different nation. There's nothing discrimination about that. I'm proud to be a Konana. And so the salt water people we call them at Kakon Konana. It's all a different nation. When we used to meet one another from the inland down here, they used to come down and say in a happy way. That's how 
four years to meet one another in the coast range from the inland to show our sympathy that we have good will towards our people in Alaska. And it'll be very, very long history when I get back to my country and tell my younger generation and the older people what we are learning from my coast brothers, uncles, sisters, and my relatives. I have relatives right here in Alaska. And my name is the crow, of course. No, frog is hoch. I guess you people know what this cook means. <laughs> Lazy old frog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear friends. And now we will have the pleasure of having the Haida dancers come in. It, it is the land of our deceased brothers Especially we think of Paul Morrison, James E. Densaw, John Brown, Sam Davis, Powell Charles, Clarence Peel, John Wallace, Benson Skulka, and these people were some of the greats of that nation, and now the high the dancers.
so I wish to thank all those who participated in this program in this time. We appreciate the courtesy of the audience. You certainly are an appreciative group. And those who participated were, were really doing the finest at this hour. I thank the speakers and for all those who had a part in making this program. Uh, once again, it was a uh, tremendous event that we had today. I particularly enjoy seeing the Heidelberg group and the other groups. Uh, Nora, we didn't get a chance to... Excuse me. Of course. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to talk earlier about uh, events that happened yesterday. Perhaps, Nora, you could give us an idea of how the event began and some of the highlights from yesterday. Okay, some of the highlight. I guess we can all see first uh, that event is based on people and how the social structure is the basic of our groups Tlingit, uh, Haida and Simshian and how the kinship system works for our people and what we value and speaking about values some of the highlights of yesterday were priorities set by different groups from the different communities and uh, included in their ceremony. For example, the Chukunedi of Huna did the Kastin uh, history. Shangukedi did the history of their migration from the interior all the way up to Klukwan. And then the Hutsnuwu uh, 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 did the hats, the hat ceremonies, the shakiat ceremonies, mm -hmm. and they did the something similar, uh, like I think it's called da duti, uh, the elevation of the grandchildren, and also uh, speaking about their children and uh, how they were related to each other, and did some histories of the hats and songs and dances. One of our greatest cultural strengths is the balance that is inherent in all of our cultures, eagles and ravens, uh, exchanges between the clans. An important part that you've seen here today uh, was the introduction and the uh, fostering of events along by our Nakanis. Nora, you and I were talking a little earlier about the role of the Nakani uh, can you give us a little more idea of the importance of this position in, in an, an event like this and in our culture itself? Mm -hmm. In the in, uh, Tlingit uh, tradition, one of the most valued uh, people are the uh, Nakanis, especially for uh, an event such as Kuhik, uh, which is uh, uh, getting together and doing ceremonies. And at this time, Nakanis are appointed. These are the brother-in-laws of hosts. And they are paid for their prestigious positions and also how well they fit into the clan who is hosting. It is a very uh, honorable position for anyone. And it's very important to keeping an event going smoothly. We've tried at all times throughout this event to maintain the proper respect and balance among our three cultures and uh, we thank uh, those people that have assisted us in this matter. 